got a new flavor of these Rice Krispie treats. These ones are chocolate drizzled confetti crispy squares. I always get the strawberry one because that one is so good. This one's pretty good, but I still prefer the strawberry one. Today is my first day of my new fitness program that my personal trainer has set up for me. If you don't know, in my previous video, I talked about how I'm working with a remote personal trainer. So it's completely through an app. Mm. Yeah, this one's really good, but I prefer the strawberry one. I have quite a bit to do today. Big updates, little big update, little big update. <laughs> Um, I think in my previous video, I didn't get the house yet. I was like signing and wiring money over, but I have the house. It's currently being worked on by a contractor just to fix up a few things before I get ready to move in. Your girl's a homeowner, which feels not real. I feel like I'm not coming off excited because it doesn't really feel like it's happening. So yeah, I also got a new job. I had the final interview this Friday. I'm all hired on. I'm currently in training right now. So I'm really excited about that. My birthday was just a few days ago and I only cried once, which is which is a big win. I usually cry a lot more. <laughs> I don't know, my birthday is always kind of a sad time for me. Well, it's a bittersweet time, especially because my birthday is so close to Mother's Day. I think also just getting older gives me a lot of anxiety. I feel like the pandemic erased like two whole years of my life. I think a lot of people feel that way. When their birthdays are passing this year around, they feel two years younger. I have spoken to a lot of people that also relate to that feeling. So let me know if you do too. I also feel like ever since the pandemic happened, my entire perception of time has gone out the window. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like just a lot of big emotional things have been happening to me recently in like a very short period of time. So I feel very overwhelmed. And I think the way that I'm coping with that is by shutting down. <laughs> My sweet baby! You're so pretty, oh my god. All of the furniture I've been looking at hasn't even been furniture for me. It's been furniture for, for them. Hi, baby. This is some leftover like coconut whipped cream because I got some French toast on my birthday and it came with this. I'm just gonna add the last of it to these waffles, which I slightly burnt, but it's fine. The chili oil is so good with this. I started adding the chili oil recently. It's so good. Honestly, these waffles are not that good, especially when they're by themselves. But if you add all this stuff, not bad. Probably won't buy them again, but they're not bad. Mm. I mean, you put butter, whipped cream and syrup on anything, it's gonna taste good. Mm. Okay, I'm off to the new house. I was supposed to set up the Wi-Fi today, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna go over and do some measurements for some furniture that I really wanna get, and that will be that. And then I have to come back and do some coursework and training modules for my new job. Scared the crap out of me! Oh my God, Jungkook. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go. Okay, so no one's at the house, so I can give like a little empty house tour. It's so echoey, I'm so sorry. 
So here is the front entrance into the kitchen, as you can see. The kitchen is what really, really sold me on getting this place. I think it's so beautiful. I I just, oh, I love this kitchen so much. I still need to get a fridge. But yeah, the kitchen is probably my favorite part of this entire place. I talked about how I want to put like a little shrine for my parents, and I think that's going to be around here. And we have a fireplace. This is going to be the dining room. I already got a new lamp. I'm sorry, the audio is probably super echoey, but I got a new lamp. It's coming in. This one, I don't know if you're able to tell, it's super low. Like, I'm pretty short and it's almost hitting my head. Let me show you the backyard really quick. This here is the backyard. These trees are actually grapefruit trees. I don't know if there's any growing right now. Right there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're grapefruits. So that's what the seller told us. Yeah, that's the whole living area. So that's gonna be a dining room. This can be the living room. And I'm planning to just put like a lot of cat things around here. And then the shrine is gonna go over here. Here we have the guest bathroom, I guess. The bathroom that's open to everyone. We have this little hallway that actually reminds me a lot of that house I grew up in. And then we have two rooms. Here's one room and Here's another room. I'm not sure which one is gonna be the office yet and which one is gonna be my cat's room, but I, I'll figure it out. And then here is the master bedroom. They have some mirror closets here, which I am not a fan of. But yeah, this is gonna be my bedroom. And then here is the master bathroom, which will be my bathroom, which I also love. I love this shower. I love this little area with the lighting here. That looks so pretty to me. Love this massive mirror. Some work that I'm going to do, it comes with two sinks here. I'm just going to make it one big sink in the middle. That's basically the entire place. A very simple little house tour. I'm so excited to go on this journey with you. All of this still feels very surreal. Like it's not really, like I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like it's not real. I don't know. It's just not actually happening. So even though it's it's happening, I'm like, well, I'm not actually doing it. You know, I don't know. It's weird. It is the house tour. Everyone that has helped me in this entire process has been absolutely amazing. I don't know if my parents just sent me the greatest people on the planet to help me out with this whole process, but thank you, mom and dad, because as stressful as this was, the people helping me were Absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna do some measurements really quick and then I will head back home. So I've been working on my coursework and I did not realize the time. I am so hungry, but I'm still not done and this is due tonight. So I'm just gonna make something super quick for dinner. I'm gonna make a chicken Caesar salad wrap. I got it recently at this uh, vegan fast food place and it's all I've been thinking about lately. <laughs> I'm gonna use a little baggie and I'm gonna add some romaine salad and a little bit of shredded lettuce and then the chicken and then I have some parmesan on cheese, these bacon bits, and then Caesar dressing, of course. I'm gonna throw it all in this bag, shake it up, and then put it in a tortilla. This wrap might be hard to do with nails, but do my best. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Looks pretty good. I think I'm also gonna have a drink. Cherry cola. Mm. 
I'm gonna try these for my sweet treat for tonight. Mmm. 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 Not really a fan. Not really a fan. I mean, they're not bad. I think the date flavor is just not. Mmm. It's not really my thing. It's okay though. Mm. grocery shopping and I found this drink which sounds so good right now it's so hot outside I'm gonna try it. it's pineapple paradise oh. it's like a prebiotic and a probiotic drink where it's got an immune health and it's caffeine free I prefer the the poppy drinks that I get poppy and then like the Ollie pop those are better than this one but this isn't bad I started rewatching Criminal Minds recently, but I'm not sure if that's the best thing to watch while eating. Okay. Anya, can you not? Well, then cancel it. I'll be there at 2.30. Hey, y'all, Hallow's Eve, folks. It's a paraphrase from Celtic. You're just being me. Yeah. Agent Giroux, this is SSA David Rose. JJ, it is such an honor to meet you, sir. I should have fruit because I still have some fruit riot in the freezer and the pineapple I got today looks scrumptious. What do you think Anya? Let's have Anya decide. Ready? It's gonna go to which hand she picks. This hand will be ice cream. This hand will be fruit. Okay, Anya. Oh, fruit. Fruit for fruit. Okay, got the fruit riot which if you don't know what this is, it's frozen grapes with this like sour candy coating. It's like if sour skittles were a frozen grape. So good. And also, ugh. Doesn't this pineapple look so good? Oh my God. Mm. Oh my God, this pineapple's so good.
to go to the gym right now. I just looked at the workout that I have scheduled today that my personal trainer made and oh my God, she, she looks rough. So that's exciting. <laughs> I haven't felt sore after a workout in a long time until I started working with my personal trainer. It's been very humbling. It's been a very humbling experience. Oh my god, I was right. That was brutal. <laughs> I don't think I've ever sweat this much after like a not cardio workout. I thought I was gonna cry. But it was a great workout. I mean, I was definitely right. I looked at it this morning and I, I, I'm happy I looked at it because I was able to like mentally prepare myself a little bit. I got my hair soaked from sweat. It looks like I just took a shower. That's kind of gross. I'm so excited to go home. Oh my god. up my leftover Thai food from last night. I think between the, the new job, the coursework that I'm still doing and moving, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. Plus, hey, what are you doing stuff? Plus, of course, content creation. It's been a little overwhelming, just a little bit, but it's okay. It's like, it's welcome work because I mean, I did this to myself. I put this, I put myself in this position and I'm happy to be in this position for sure. I can be grateful. I've been working on this with my therapist. I can be grateful and happy to be in this position and recognize it was my choice to put myself in this position and also still be like, but yeah, it's kind of stressful. It was kind of a lot. <laughs> hmm. <Whew. laughs> mm.
Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you did, please give it a like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff really helps me out and I really appreciate it. And also thank you so much for your patience. I know this video is very delayed. I have been so busy and time just seems to fly by. And I'm always like, oh, I'll get that video done tomorrow. I'll get it done tomorrow. And then suddenly weeks go by. So thank you so much for your patience. It means a lot to me. And I hope you're doing well. Please update me in the comments below. I always love reading your comments. And yeah, of course, before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. You are so valid and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much and I hope to see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye!